hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to create a new vb.net project which will be gift shop and we have seen the preview in the previous video the link is given in the description so now we are going to build that project so let us click on new project and here we are just going to name the project as gift shop and click on ok so your project will be created in some time so you can see you have one default form over here so let us open this solution explorer and you can see all your pages over here so let me keep it or let me pin it and this is the form which is form 1 so I'll open its properties and change this so from form 1 so let me keep the text right so whatever we write here will be displayed over here so welcome to gift shop okay and the name you can see it is form1.vb so we are going to change that Open properties and let us pin this to over here so it is over here so search for name name is form1 so let us write welcome page okay so welcome let us try it renaming it over here and let me give welcome and it is done okay so we'll just check the name once the so name is welcome okay so now we are going to keep the login and registration button over here so before that let us add a background image so to add the background image click on this and select local resource click on import and here I have all the images so I'm going to take this image and open you can see the half image so when it is running that time the full screen it will come properly so let us save and run the project and check now so we have done so you can see this is done over here full screen it is opening so how do you open that full screen I'll just show you so here in uh, above this MISC thing you can see window state maximized by default it will be normal you have to select maximized over here okay so now we are going to add the login and registration button over here so for that you have to just open your toolbox that is here I'm going to pin it and search toolbox so button drag this button over here just increase the size of the button so it looks good and the text will be login here say login and I'm going to add some design to this so back color I'm going to give it a green I'll select this green and the text color so that will be the four color we are going to make that as white okay white and the font we are going to use Tahoma and that will be over here and here just type T you'll get Tahoma over here font and select okay size we are going to keep it 14 uh, let's keep it 16 a little more bigger and bold okay so let us click it aside and you can see this button but you have a white color border right we want to remove that so here where you have this flat style instead of standard just keep it as pop-up so you can see this button will be when you click it will just give a pop-up feel over there so similarly we need to create the register button also so I just copy and paste the same thing and align it over here and I'll change the text from login to register register and the back color will be we'll keep it red for this thing you can see red okay and let's increase the size of these buttons okay this looks good and the same thing we are going to do for the login also okay fine so let us save and run the project let us look at the design okay so we'll just pull it over this side so see this is because of the pop-up thing which we have given there here this is looking very empty so let us add an image over here okay so to add an image we are going to use the tool called picture box just drag and drop it over here increase the size more just drag these things a little this side and here 
click on this choose image local resource import and here we are going to keep this thing and okay so here model size normal it says size mode as normal so let us keep stretch image so it will fit into your size so i just increase this width or here okay so this looks good now let us work on the coding part so let us name this button first so the button name is button one here so let us make it login underscore btn that means login button and this will be the register button say register and let us write it completely register underscore btn okay so first we'll create the registration part so when you double click on that you can see this register button dot click so we need to open a registration form over there so first we will create the registration form so right click on this and say add new item or you can directly go for windows form over here and instead of this form one just rename your form which are you are creating so we are creating register right or you can keep registration registration dot vb click on add so you can see your form is here so now when you click on this button what you have to do is you have to hide the current form so we are going to say that me dot hide and the registration form we are going to open right registration dot show okay and save it and you can run the project and check if it's working fine so when i click on register button you can see registration form is open so now let us design the registration form and write the code to insert the data so okay, stop debugging and this is the registration form so first make it let us make it full screen here window state to maximized and background image import and here we are going to use this image say open pull it over here so let us take panel over here for the border so you can see panel just drag and drop and increase the size so in the properties you can see back color go to web and transparent okay so for the border thing you can see border style oops here border style say fixed single so you'll get a border like this okay and now inside this we are going to keep our registration form so we'll just increase the size and can just increase this size over here and we are going to add a heading over here that this is the registration page so let us say label okay drag and drop it over here and the text so registration and the size and the color we are going to change it okay so four color keep it to white and the size so font reducing tahoma select okay and the font size keep it 16 or here 16 is too small let us keep 26 okay so this looks good and let us make it bold so i think we need to increase the size a little bit more so let me get 34 okay okay this looks good so now we need to take input over here so we need an input box here right so let us say search for text box over here drop it over here increase the size a little bit and we are going to add a label for this so, so label and this label is we'll take the first name over here so just text make it f name or let us write it clearly first name and the size it's font style is Tahoma okay and the four color keep 
it white over here okay this size is going to be 14 yeah, it looks good so okay so now similarly we are going to take few more details so just copy and paste all the things so arrange it so first name and this will be the last name so change the text select the label alone and you will get this name we don't have to change the name of the label we are just going to change the text okay so text is here give last name so we'll be taking the phone number next so we'll change the name of this so phone number right phone number here okay and then we are going to take the gender of the user copy and paste so this is going to be a drop down so let us say combo box and select it you can remove the text box over there and just give this combo box so make it of the same size so that it looks good okay and here you have an option right arrow just click it on that and say edit items so here we have male and female click ok lift it a little bit up and this is gender right so change the text name over here sorry the label text to gender and lastly we are going to take the email and password let me increase the forms height and just copy paste these two things copy and paste just drag and drop them over here so the first thing will be email over here email and here the password password so now we'll just going to add one button over here that will be the register button over here okay so here you are going to add buttons button that will be over here we'll increase the size a little bit okay so this will be the register button so change the text to register now and the back color we are going to change and that will be in green color the flat style to be pop up and the four colors going to be white so let us select white font style and the font we are going to use this one let us make it bold okay and here we'll just add a cancel button just paste it over here and change the text and the background color so the color will be red for this and the text is cancel okay and we are going to put the names for this name is this is cancel button okay 
and this is register now button 